Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub by Dr. Tanya Bose. So today I'll tell you about the algebraic expression trees, right? So now what are algebraic expression trees? So we know that we can express our expressions in the form of algebraic expressions which includes propositions, compound propositions, combination of sets, arithmetic expressions and then when we give that entire expression the look of a tree it becomes an algebraic expression tree. So let us see that suppose this is an expression given to us where you know all the symbols except for the first one that is this. So this is raised to the power. So we are saying x plus y raised to power 2 the first bracket and then we have plus then x minus 4 divided by 3 right. So if I have to express this algebraic expression in the form of a binary tree how to make that? So in this case, you can see that plus is the main vertex which is joining the first bracket with the second bracket, right? So we have to identify that which expression is joining the two things. So we have to make that vertex as the root vertex and the two further expressions will become the left subtree and the right subtree. So I can see here that plus becomes my root and we have an expression over here. The left expression is x plus y raised to power 2 and the right expression is x minus 4 divided by 3. Right. Now in the left part I can see that there are two vertices x and y which are joined with the vertex plus. So every algebraic term whether it is a variable, whether it is a uh, arithmetic operation, you have to assume them as a vertex. So how will I make x plus y? I can say that x is one of the vertex. It gets joined with the plus and then the vertex that is added is y, right? And then further what is happening? We are taking the power, power function and it is being taken the power as 2. So if you read from here, it is x plus y raised to power 2, right? Similarly, how will I write x minus 4 divided by 3? So you can see how many vertices are there. x is one of the vertex, minus is one of the vertex, 4 is one of the vertex, division is one of the vertex, and 3 is another vertex. So how to make the left right subtree? We'll start from x, one of the vertex as x. Then we have the minus vertex which is also one of the vertex which is joining x with 4 with the minus sign. Then we have the divisor and what is getting divided? The expression is getting divided by 3. And then the whole thing is getting joined with the vertex plus. Right? So you can see that this is the left subtree and this is the right subtree and then both are getting joined with the plus sign. Right? So this is how we express any algebraic expression in the form of a rooted tree. Right? Now, we all, like we did in the tree traversal, we did the pre-order traversal, the in-order traversal and the post-order traversal. So similarly, in algebraic expressions too, we have prefix expression, infix expression and the postfix expression. So what are these expressions now? So if we have a rooted tree, a rooted expression tree, algebraic expression tree, so when we traverse that tree with the help of pre-order, the expression that we get is a pre-order prefix expression. When we traverse the binary tree with the help of in-order, the algebraic expression that we get is the infix expression. And when we traverse the tree with the help of the post-order traversal method, then the expression that we get is the postfix expression, right? So from the prefixes name, pre, in and post, they will act same for the tree traversal also, right? So now let us see this. We have this expression, we have this algebraic tree expression and we have to write the prefix form, right? Now how to write the prefix form? So if you remember what was the prefix method? Prefix method says that traverse the root first, then the left and then the right vertex. So first of all the root vertex is plus. So this is traversed first. Then we go to the left vertex, right? 
but when we go to the left vertex i can see that this is now the root vertex so root comes first then we go to the left and then to the right but again when we go to the left plus is my root vertex again so i go to the left vertex that is x and then i go to the right vertex that is y so this part is traveled so now once the left is done we go to the right vertex that is 2 so i can see the root is also traveled and when i come back this root is also traveled so you can see the root is traveled and the left part is covered right now we have to go to the right part now when we go to the right part this divisor is again acting as the root vertex right so root then we go to the left vertex but again the left vertex is appearing as a root vertex so this is the root so we go to the left part that is x then we go to the right part that is 4 then you can see the root is traveled so the left part is done and then we go to the right part that is 3 so this expression that we get this is your prefix expression for this algebraic expression right so it is the same thing like we did in the pre order right okay so now let us do the next question where we will be framing the infix form so what is the infix form in the infix form we travel the left vertex first then the root vertex and then the right vertex this was the method followed in infix okay so for this we have to go to the left vertex right so the left subtree so now this is not extreme left so x is our extreme left vertex right so we go to x first then we go to the root vertex that is plus and then we go to the right vertex that is y right so this is covered left is covered now we go to the root vertex that is raised to the power then we go to the right vertex that is 2 so you can see again the left part is covered entirely so now my left root vertex is plus and now i go to the right subtree in the right subtree again i have to go to the left vertex first so my extreme left vertex is vertex x again so i go to x then the root vertex that is minus then the right vertex that is 4 then again i go back divisor is the root vertex and then i go to the right vertex that is right so you can see that the expression that we are getting is same as the in order traversal that we were doing in binary right and now the last form that is the post fix form So now, this for the same binary tree, we have to write a postfix expression. So in the postfix expression, what was the method? It is same as the post order. So it is left, then right, and then the root vertex. Right. So again, we go to the left vertex first. So the left vertex is x, the right vertex is y, and then the root vertex is plus. So you can see that the left part is covered. So now we go to the right vertex that is 2 we go to the root vertex that is raised to the power and you can see that the left part is covered now right so after the left we have to go to the right part in the right part again the same you can see many subtrees are there so we go to the extreme left that is again x then the right vertex that is 4 then we go to the root vertex that is minus right then we again go to the right vertex that is 3 then again to the root vertex that is divisor so you can see now the right subtree is covered and finally we go to the root vertex that is right so this is your post fix form for this algebraic expression tree right so you should be knowing that from the binary tree how to write these expressions now the next type of questions that arises here is that you will be given a prefix expression and we need to evaluate that expression right so how to evaluate that expression so let me write down the expression we have plus then minus then we have multiplication then we have 2 3 5 then we have divisor then raised to the power then 2 3 and 4 right so whenever you are solving a prefix expression we will always start from the back end right now from the back end see where do you find a arithmetic operation along with two numbers right you can see that the first that is appearing is here you have to start from the back 
the first pair that hits you have to mark that right so what is the meaning of this pair it means it is 2 to the power 3 and what is 2 to the power 3 it is 8 to rewrite the expression again so we have plus minus multiplication then 2 3 5 then divisor now this expression will be replaced with 8 and then with 4 right again from the back see which pair do you get first do we get this pair yes so what is the meaning of this pair 8 divided by 4 that is 2 again rewrite the expression plus minus multiply 2 3 5 then these three numbers will get replaced by 2 again start from the back and see which pair do you get first so you get this pair now multiplication 2 and 3 so now this is 2 multiplied by 3 that is 6 again rewrite the expression plus minus 6 5 and 2 again from the back see which pair is appearing so you can see that you get this pair now so this is 6 minus 5 which is 1 finally write down the expression we get plus 1 and 2 so this is the only pair left so 1 plus 2 becomes right okay now we have another expression So we have another expression. So you can see that what is the value of this post-fixed expression. So here in the post-fixed method, it is similar to a pre or the prefix expression. The only difference is in prefix, we were starting from the back end. Now we will start from the front end, right? The method is same. So we rewrite this expression first. So this is our expression. So to begin with, now we have to start from the front end. So from the front end, which is the first pair that you come across, this is the first pair. So this tells you that this is 2 multiplied by 3, that is 6. So rewrite the expression. 7, 6, minus 4, raised to power 9, 3, divide and plus. Next, from the front end, which is the next pair that you get, 7, 6 and 1, 7, 6 and minus. So, this is 7 minus 6, which is 1. So, rewrite the expression. 1, 4 raised to the power 9, 3, divide and plus. Now, again, from the front end, see which is the first pair that you are getting. This is 1 raised to power 4, that is 1. Rewrite your expression. So, we have 1, 9, 3, divide and plus. Next, what is the next expression from the front end? 9, 3 and divide. So this is 9 divided by 3. That is 3. So we get 1, 3 and plus. And finally, you can see that you have this pair. So 1 plus 3, that will give you 4. So the post-fixed expression for this algebraic expression becomes 4. Right? So both ways you should be able to from the... Binary tree, you should be able to write the prefix, postfix, and then fix expression. And when the prefix and the postfix expressions are given to you, how to evaluate your answer. Right? So I hope you understand the video. So if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And thank you so much for listening. And believe in yourself, and you will be able to succeed. Thank you.